All right, are you ready to learn about my lotions and skin creams? Hmm. This one's not going to be in any order. Um, I'm just going to grab and go. Um, uh, first I'll start out with the Crystal Water Spa Hand and Body Lotion. Purple Lilac Blossom Center. Monique gave me this, and I actually haven't really used it, I don't think, yet. But it smells good. It smells like lilacs. I love the smell of lilacs. Um, I'll let you know how it works when I get to it. And this is what I used last night, and I've been using lately. And I don't even know how to pronounce this. I'll give it a go. Nutri Men C R E 9 Arbon Body Lotion. And uh, it it's really nice. My legs are really soft. So it works good. Good ingredients. So I recommend it. Um, that many gave me that also many gave me this too, which is Estee Lauder Beautiful Body Lotion, and it smells awesome. Mm, yes. And. Then, uh, I paid a lot for this at a mall in Maryland. This is the Dead Sea, Deep Sea Cosmetics Dead Sea Hand and Body Lotion. And it smells really good. Um, it is nice and light, and it feels really good. It makes your hands really soft and skin really soft, so might have been worth the money. Mm. Uh, then I have Tattooed by Inky Koi, which Tattooed by Inky makes a lot of, or I think they make two other scents. They might make more. But the other two scents, the pink and the blue one, are the ones I smell, and they stink. I don't like them. But the koi, mm, it smells, oh I got lotion on my nose, huh? It smells like clean and fresh. I love clean scents, I love lightweight stuff, so it's pretty good. Um, next, I have the B lotions. <laughs> and uh, we have Royal B Naturals Ambrosia Blossom Nourishing Body Lotion. And this stuff smells great. Mm. It's got royal jelly in it, which is like the what they feed like baby queen bees, their larvae, and it smells really good and it's nice. And then I have two of the royal bee uh, imperial shea healing hand cream, which smells good. It's not as good as the body lotion, but it's nice. And then I have a uh, Royal Bee Imperial Shea Foot Cream, which smells the best of the three. And it's nearly gone, so I love it. Um, then I have H2 Ocean. Uh, tattoo aftercare, which 
I've used several uh, tattoo lotions, and this one's my favorite. Um, so I highly recommend this one. It's nice and clean and lightweight, and you know it's really nice. I think it smells good too. Yeah. It smells clean. It's fragrance free. Fragrance free stuff smells good. <laughs> and, and I have my shimmer lotions. Uh, I used to have a bigger one of these, the Jergens Soft Shimmer Skin Radiance Lotions. And, um, this one's really nice to put on the legs, especially, um, if you're gonna go out in a short skirt. It has, like, micro-fine, uh, glitter in it, so it just leaves you looking glowing. Love it. And then I have Love Spell Victoria's Secret uh, Shimmery Body Lotion. And this has got more chunky, larger pieces of glitter. So it's not really something I would go out and wear every day. Um, it's more something I would use in the bedroom. So. It's nice for that. And okay, we got some birds bees. Bird bees. Shit right here. Um shit necessarily. Or literally shit. This stuff the the royal eye jelly. This stuff's nasty. It's like petroleum jelly. And sure, petroleum jelly is good for removing makeup, but it feels disgusting on your face. I won't even put petroleum jelly on my face anymore. It's disgusting. Mmm, dead fish that's been rotting in the ground billions of years. Ugh. Anyways. It's royal jelly. Disgusting. It smells rancid. And then got this Burt's Bees uh, hand repair cream. And um, it's pretty much shit too. I don't like Burt's Bees. It smells like carrots, but it's gross. It's just stupid. I don't know what the buzz about Burt's Bees is because it sucks. Wasting money. Um, then I have my all purpose like shea butter, uh, the Palmer's shea butter. And when you're picking out a shea butter, you want, I don't know if I can get the, it on camera. Um, there's a little bit of a different type of lotion in there, but you see how it's kind of like bubbly and, uh, like little round chunks. That's because it's like the raw shea and you want raw shea in its natural form because then it like melts like butter onto your skin and, um, Shea butter has like a natural SPF, so it's kind of nice to just have around. It makes the skin really soft. Um, I have this uh, Olay Age Defying Night Cream. Um, I think this stuff made me have like a rash or breakout or something after I used it, but I don't really remember because that was a long time ago, and once I get the balls again, I'm going to try it out again to see, to test it, and if it makes me break out again, then I'm just going to throw it away. Um, 
Yeah. And then we have Clinique Repairwear uh, Intensive Eye Cream. And it works pretty good. I like Clinique. I love Clinique. And then we have Lome Peri uh, uh, Wrinkle Reducing Serum made in California, actually. <laughs> but I got it from Sally's Beauty Supply. And it works pretty good. I've nearly used it all up. You can see it's like nearly gone. But yeah, it's good. And then we have Lomé Petty uh, Face and Neck Lifting Cream, which is also really nice. And those you both apply before bed. Smells nice, feels nice, it's good. This is a little heavy, but uh, I like it anyways. I mean, a face lifting cream you would expect to be a little heavy, so uh, that's it. Pairs 